bone marrow transplant is a procedure which is offered quite commonly these days for patients suffering from blood and cancer disorders. So we, as we know that blood is life and our blood is formed inside our bones, uh, there is something known as bone marrow which makes blood and in the blood there are red cells, white cells and platelets. Red cells carry oxygen, white cells provide immunity to fight infections and platelets help stop the bleeding. So this is what bone marrow does. And when someone's bone marrow is not working properly or there is cancer there or there is some other disease uh, there, then it needs replacement, it needs a new bone marrow. And we can either use our own bone marrow or from someone, somebody else. And that, if that is done, a procedure where bone marrow from, is given after giving chemotherapy or radiation, that is known as bone marrow transplant and it can help cure many disorders. Bone marrow transplant is again is of two types. One is autologous, another is allogeneic. So first, let me explain what is autologous bone marrow transplant. So whenever we want to treat cancer, we give chemotherapy in most of the children and cancer disappears with chemotherapy and it gets better. But some children who have high risk cancer or the cancer which is very strong we are unable to cure with chemotherapy alone and there we need to do maybe very big dose of chemotherapy is required known as high dose chemotherapy and whenever we give very big dose of chemotherapy the bone marrow stops working and you cannot survive that big dose of chemotherapy so what we can do is that we can take out the bone marrow of the patient in advance of doing giving this high dose chemotherapy and store it in liquid nitrogen at minus 180 degrees centigrade and it can be kept for many months or years. So we collect the bone marrow cells and store them and then we give high dose chemotherapy for lymphomas, brain tumors or, or some other uh, uh, high risk like neuroblastoma and then we put back those cells after giving this big chemotherapy and patient recovers and it benefits the patient because cancer is cured. So this is known as autologous bone marrow transplant. Other is uh, allogeneic bone marrow transplant. Allogeneic means you are using somebody else bone marrow. So either from your family, a brother, sister or parent or somebody from outside your family, unrelated donor transplant or a cord blood stem cell transplant from a cord blood bank. So these are the various uh, sources from which allogeneic transplant can be done. And it is usually done for conditions such as blood cancer or bone marrow failure or thalassemia, sickle cell disease, etc. So uh, these are the two types of bone marrow transplant. Yes, so bone marrow transplant is a major treatment modality for children with blood and cancer disorders. So there are five sets of main areas where bone marrow transplant is required in allogeneic transplant. One is leukemia. So when the children have bad leukemia, which is not responding to chemotherapy, there we need to change the bone marrow. We need to provide them with a new bone marrow. And that bone marrow not only makes new blood, but provides new immune system, which kills the cancer. So it's sort of an immunotherapy. These, these new cells bring a new immune system, which finishes off the cancer. So that's why it is used in leukemia. So that's one big indication for, for bone marrow transplant. After leukemia, the second commonest indication in children is thalassemia and sickle cell disease. Thalassemia is a very common disorder in India. Nearly 10,000 children are born every year in India who need lifelong blood transfusions. And this can be cured by bone marrow transplant. So it's a common indication. And sickle cell disease is also common in, in certain parts of India and globally and a lot of international patients also come to India for, for sickle transplants. So this is the second common indication for bone marrow transplant. Then the third area is bone marrow failure. When your bone marrow stops working because of some viral infections or immune problems, it is also known as aplastic anemia and it can be cured by bone marrow transplant. Fourth area is primary immune def deficiency. That means that your immune system is not working properly. So you may have severe combined immunodeficiency, Viscoraldehyde syndrome, HLH, etc. These are immunodeficiency disorders which can be cured by bone marrow transplant. And the last area is inborn errors of metabolism. There are certain uh, biochemical pathways which are not working properly. You're not making some vital proteins or enzymes which are required 
for your brain, heart, kidney, etc. to work normally. And some of these disorders can be cured by bone marrow transplant.